Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about downloading and installing Epson printer drivers onto your Windows computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up a web browser of your choice. doesn't matter which one, but we're going to use Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And just search for Epson printers. Just go ahead and do a Google search. So one of the best results should be Epson.com, and then there should be a printers after that. You can go ahead and just open that up. You can go to their main page as well if you just go to Epson.com and then go underneath for home. And then you can select printers, and then you can specify what type of printer from the list here. So if you go down on this page here, you can go ahead and keep going. And select further down where it says, you're going to have to go down pretty far here, where it says support. Go ahead and select the Get Support button. And at this point, you go ahead and enter in your product name, or you can go ahead and select by product type and then go through this more manual process here. Again, you can search for product name up there. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a random printer here. But again, you're welcome to use this search field to go ahead and search by product name. And I'm just picking one completely randomly here. So you can search for it and then just select it from the list. And then most of the printers should have a similar looking page to this. Versus recommended for you, it should say drivers and utilities combo package. You don't want to just install drivers or utilities. It's best just to get the whole package here. So we're going to go ahead and select that and then the download button. Once it's on downloading, go ahead and open that up. And select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. It's going to say the file contains the installer to obtain everything you need to use your Epson. Go ahead and click OK to continue. Go ahead and select OK. And then you want to accept the end user license terms here. So just go ahead and select accept. And then I would definitely recommend installing the drivers and utilities. And if you want to keep this other stuff selected, you can. However, the most important stuff is the driver and utilities here. And you can keep participation software checked or unchecked. I usually uncheck stuff like that, but you're welcome to if you want. And select install. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and select Next. And then you want to go ahead and follow along with the on-screen prompts here. And then you would select your connection type. And again, you just follow along with the on-screen prompts at this point. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. So again, this is very customized at this point. I don't want you guys following this really to the T at this point. You're going to have to select your own personal options here. So whether you're using a wireless connection, wired network connection, or direct USB connection, for example, and you just would follow along with the on-screen prompts that correspond to whatever your selection was. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.